Our nation's been at war. Some things have happened to some of these service members. Some of them have been very catastrophic, either through loss of life, in some cases disabilities. These service members who have given their all, in some cases, they and their families, their caregivers, need to be protected and our nation actually owes them that. MOA stands for Military Officers Association of America. And it's a nonprofit association that was established in 1929. We have a membership base of about 350,000 members. And that membership base is made up of all eight uniformed service members. These are veterans or active duty service members, and also members of the National Guard and the Reserve Forces as well. Our biggest mission really is to protect and preserve the earned benefits of our uniformed service member veterans, active duty service members, their families, and surviving spouses. And we do that through advocacy, leadership, service, and education. MOA is needed to protect the benefits uh, and well-being of those who have served or are serving. We're a, a big, powerful voice on the Hill. We're an association of leaders. We pride ourselves on our ability to identify the small areas of gaps where we can step in and make a difference. And that's what we do um, on a consistent basis, day in and day out. We're on the Hill, working with Congress here locally in the D.C. area. We have over 400 chapters across the nation. And within those 400 chapters, we have about 45,000 active members um, who are working with their congressional leaders at the local level. As an individual, you really don't have a big voice. But if you come forward as a membership with over 350,000 members, um, quite frankly, the doors in Congress open very wide. They want to listen to you and they need to listen to you because of the constituent base uh, that you represent. The strength and the, the power of this collective voice is really what's made us effective. We have two 501c3 charities, the MOA Scholarship Fund and the MOA Foundation. And the MOA Scholarship Fund allows us to provide education assistance to college-age children of service members, veterans. We're able to give out about six to eight million dollars a year. MOA's other charity is the MOA Foundation. We support career transition, professional development for military spouses, community outreach, and now emergency relief. Having been on active duty for 30 years myself, I very much understand the challenges that veterans have when they're making that transition from military service to civilian life. You've become so accustomed to being part of a cohesive team. You're all working together towards a common goal. When you face this transition to the civilian sector, you don't really have that. It engenders a lot of feelings of anxiety, and you just don't know, well, how am I going to get my footing? It gives me a great deal of satisfaction to be able to help ease even a little bit of that, uh, of that anxiety. Veterans are inspiring individuals who made the decision to raise their right hands and serve their country. It's a wonderful type of individual who makes the decision to do that. We serve to be the voice of those serving, and we ensure that what's been promised to them is delivered. Less than 1% of our nation's population has or will serve in the military. So 99% of our nation benefits from, from their contributions. And often those contributions are their lives. Mm -hmm.